While sewing, the profile's position on the sewing table is very important. It's the basis of perfect miters. In order to achieve this, the machine tools have to be sharp enough and the machines have to be well adjusted and adequately lubricated. Use the appropriate clamps and ensure that the supply and outlet tables do not show any chips or other contaminants. We recommend only sawing the width profiles of the last door leaf after the other leaves have been fitted. This allows the cutout dimensions to be adapted if necessary. When the operations are performed in a conventional way, the various operation positions must be outlined on the profiles first. We refer to the catalogue for the exact positions. The various operations are performed with the various Reynard's punching tools, milling machine or drill. For a folding door, this involves the following operations. Open the hardware channels for both link bars and hinges and the glue injection holes in all leaf profiles. The holes for the screw corners and screw connection for the frame. The hole for the running wheels in the top frame profile. When working with milling machines, we mustn't forget to wear the necessary protection. Safety goggles and ear protection are absolutely necessary for your own safety. We mill the drainage in the floor profile. And we perform the milling required to be able to fit the hinges in the left and right frame profile. All these operations can also be performed by a CNC machine using the Rainer Pro data. There's then no need to mark off the profiles. During this training, we mill the lock and handle recesses with the SPZ140. The corner connections can be made in various ways. During this training, we do this using screws for the frame and crimping for the leaf profile. We start with the frame, following these guidelines. With a drill jig, we create the holes to be able to fit the floor profile. We then enlarge the outermost hole that we made first with the drill jig. All drill holes and saw cuts must be clean and burr free. And all milling cuts, drill holes and punch holes must be protected with Rainer stick. Next we fit all the connection pieces. Now we fit the floor profile. The connections for fitting the floor profile are made using screws. We then make sure that the connections are carefully sealed. To complete the profile, we now apply Rainer Protector to the saw cuts on the top. We then move the screw corners into the chambers. We now move the other profiles over the corners to create a complete frame. The mechanical connection is restored with screws. The following guidelines must be followed for fitting the leaves. The saw cuts must be clean and burr free. We apply Rainer Protector to the saw cuts. We then move the crimp corners into the chambers. The other profiles are shifted over the corners to create a complete frame. 
The mechanical connection is now made by means of crimping. Always use the right crimping cutters and crimping block. Make sure that the machine is adequately adjusted and that the frame is flat on the table. Only in this way can we obtain a perfectly level and closed mitre. After crimping, we apply Rainer Seal Duo in the glue injection holes provided. This is a two component adhesive. The corner supports are then fitted. We then drill the drainage holes in the bottom leaf profiles and fit the brush profiles. All drill holes are protected with Rainer Stick. And finally the leaf is thoroughly cleaned with Rainer Finish. Rainer's provides a huge range of hardware, but we can only show one type of hardware in this instruction film. To fit other hardware, please consult our catalogue. To fit this hardware, we must follow these guidelines. We secure the runners and hinges to the leaves and the frame, proceeding as follows. We fit the clamping plates with adjusting key using handy moulds onto the leaf and frame. To stop the clamping plates from moving, fix the blanking screws sufficiently tightly onto the clamping plates so there's no blanking in the profile. Now screw the hinge sections onto the fixing pieces. Then we place the rails into the grooves provided in the floor profile. We place the lock and handle on the leaf. The receiver for the lock is fitted onto the adjacent leaf. For tall leaves, the appropriate extension must be used. Please refer to the catalog for details. Fitting locks bar C. Now we fit the lock of the second leaf. Finally, we fit the connection profiles. For the exact positioning of the gaskets and end pieces, please refer to the work drawings in the catalogue, section summarizing sections, and the assembly drawings, section on fitting gaskets and end pieces. Special moulding pieces are available for the gaskets around the hinges. The gaskets around the hinges must be interrupted in accordance with the guidelines in the catalogue. When applying these gaskets, we must always make them about 10 mm per metre longer to compensate for any shrinkage. The gaskets must be cut with special shears. These gaskets must continue in the corners. Special corner pieces have been designed for this. All cuts and joints between corner pieces and moulding pieces must be glued with vulcanizing agent. Next, we prepare and fit the brush units, which we then secure in the brush profile at the bottom of the leaves and slide the brush profile into the groove. We then fit the butt strip. And finally, we also fit the acoustic gasket.
We fit the leaves into the frame using pivots. For fitting the glass supports and glazing beads, please refer to our catalogue and the basic training films. Finally, we also fit the locking points in the frame. 